Well, welcome. It's been a while, although for you it's been the normal time. That's when you watch this video. If everything goes as planned, it will be July 4th, <coughs> 2020. July 4th, Independence Day. We were getting our independence. We were getting our independence from Britain, right? There it is. Hail Britannia. Hail Britannia. Britain. Mm -hmm. Well, I have plans. Welcome to Frico Plays Rome Total War 2 in God Mode. Athens 2, Episode 9. Battle of Britain. Frico Marines Land. Where I take my Athenian empiring to the next Frico level. In this episode, we survey our Battle of Britain strategy and attempt to clear out the land of the soft targets so we can close in on the three jewels of Britain. And the three jewels of Britain in our world are... Camelodunum? Well, first it's going to be Ilden, Camelodon, and then finally Iska is where we hope to end this all. In the Battle of Iska, if all goes as planned. <coughs> so the first step, I wanna I wanna let you a little bit know a little bit about what I've been doing here, and I found some I plan on, after the Battle of Britain is over, and I'm going to be consolidating my empiring. I'm going to be doing a little scouting mission with someone to see... I'm going to start to take inventories of the types of... Uh, like, I found a new, art, a new cavalry that was not available to me before. And I'll just introduce you to them. New types of cavalry that is phasing out our citizen cavalry, not completely, but really reducing the role of citizens' cavalry. He says as he looks and he sees mercenary citizen cavalry. There you go. So, and this is, is we still got some citizens' cavalry. This is one of the, re re uh, well, this is Cremonides' unit, so this is the main unit. So, you see citizens' cavalry in there, but look in here. Mercenary <coughs> Germanic scout rider. I only got one of them? Hmm. Gonna have to fix that before I go into the big battles, I tell you that. That's not gonna... But, but I'm not worried about that right now. I'll fix that when I have to. But these are the new guys. So these guys, they have missile damage of 32 and a range of 80. So they have some missile attacks. But then they also have decent, decent <coughs> melee attack. I think the Citizen's Cavalry. Let me see where Citizen's Cavalry is. You see Citizen's Cavalry, they're at 37. They're just a little higher, but they have no no range power whatsoever. So this is the perfect, uh, <coughs> darn near the perfect hybrid. Now, I got a lot to discover about a lot of stuff, hopefully, God willing, in, in the future episodes. But I want to introduce you there to the Germanic Scout Riders. They're, they're on Team Frico now. We've incorporated them into our team. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to... We're going to go to Ireland. No, we went the wrong direction. <coughs> That's not right. Here we go. Here we go. We're going right here. We're going to go right here. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take our SG-5s. This is a no-wall assaulter, but also it's got probably better field options here. It's not weighed down with all that heavy ca uh, artillery that our siege units are. <coughs> so let's just uh, auto-resolve this. Oh my gosh, no way. Alright. Hold on. Alright. Alright, well let's just uh, let's just get you over and you go ahead. And let's see. Let's see how this goes. Nope. Nope. Oh, oh, oh close victory. I'll take it. <clears throat> I'll take that. Oh, headbutt. Headbutt. I do the enslaves. Okay. Yeah, well, we would like to 
We cannot follow this order. Oh, I gotta, I gotta attack you. All right, so we got our port up here, and we got you. We got our. Let's get our port troops up in here. Let's get you up in here. All right, we should be able to crush these guys. There we go. <coughs> now our guy can go and finish this guy. Actually, I got somebody. Uh, Oh, that's, that's, he's not on this island. So we're going to capture this, occupy this. <coughs> so there you go. We've taken down uh, City and the Ardani faction, or the Abdani faction, are no more. They are history. Now, who's leading this charge? i got to remember who led that charge. If that was the Navy. That was Cleisthenes. Though. Okay, Cleisthenes, good man. Cleisthenes has done well in the past. The duly noted. <coughs> I, I appreciate your work there, Cleisthenes. Duly noted. All right, where is that other army guy at? See, I'm not. Oh, oh, maybe he just did he disappear because they disappeared. Okay, so now we're gonna move you guys on up to here. So let's get you on up. That is impossible. There you go. Steady as we go. There you go. There you go. Just. All right, and yeah, just go right here, right now. now. There you go. All right, and uh, where are you at now? Let's uh, let's get you down to here. All right, let's get you, <coughs> bring you on up here. Yeah, we're basically just trying to overwhelm <coughs> these guys with the nastiness. So we're just that's what we do. That's what we do. We're just bringing them all on up as we go along systematically, just barbarianizing them, just barbarianizing them. You know what? Come on. Yeah, come on. You know what? Who is this? All right, Erosthenes, I'm going to give you a chance. Let's see if you can get me a good auto. <coughs> if you give me a good auto win. Give me an auto resolve. Decisive victory. Hey, I can't complain about that. I cannot. He won in there. No. Yeah, he had reserves. Oh, never mind. He had reserves. He had tons of reserves. Never mind. That was nothing. No wonder you won. I thought that he was going in alone. Never mind. Listen, still, good job. Good job. You were given. You, you did your job well. I can't. The, yeah, you did your well. You did your job well. The Demetai are no more. We are racing through. Well, we are racing through right now, but we're we we know we've done some scouting ahead, and we know we know we have hard slogging to give. But we got one area, one more place where I believe we have an opportunity to perhaps. I am just gonna, by the way, just take you for right now, and I'm just gonna. Come on. Oh, are you in a lockdown? You're not in a lockdown, are you? What's going on with you? Why aren't you able to uh, merge? Viger wants to merge. Come on. Why aren't you merging? There we go. Wait, come on. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we're going to garrison you here. <coughs> you know, isn't it wonderful when your, your units are just Marines also? That is beautiful. I love that feature. I just... Especially when you're doing God Mode stuff. I think if I was not doing God Mode stuff, I'd probably... If I was playing for more, quote, realism, I would probably make myself, like, not have that capacity. Ready for battle. But, oh, oh, I'm not attacking Iska. I don't want to attack Iska. I'm not ready for that. I have uh, intelligence. There's my heavy cavalry, by the way. Not you. Where's my heavy cavalry? You know what? I'll show you where my heavy cavalry is. I have heavy cavalry. Now, these guys, <coughs> I am, I really hope, I don't know if they're going to come time when I decide that I'm going to use the heavy cavalry or not, but it is here. And you know what? Are you, please don't be locked down. Okay, good. Because I think I want to see, like, I'm going to take you up here. Forgive me, but I cannot. You can go here. On the move. All right, keep Make going. Haste, Let's get her on up. Cool thing is plagues and stuff like that. They don't mean nothing to me. 
Like, I see that little thing above me. That don't. That ain't no thing. I lose them, they get replaced immediately. I lose them, they get replaced immediately. All right. I'm going to send in the heavy cavalry. This is Kodros. This is uh, this is not a walled citadel, so I think you should be able to take this. I'm sending in my cavalry. That's right. I'm sending in my cavalry. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Heavy cavalry. I know I made heavy cavalry like heavy onagers. I realized I did that, and I'm happy about it. I think it's a good marriage. Heavy. I hope they say that. I hope, well, they won't call them heavy cavalry. I call them you're German. German now. You know, I'm, I'm German, pretty much. Mostly German, I think. Like 70, 80% German, probably. There you go. Ready for battle. Faction destroyed. Another faction destroyed the Begantes. Dead. Dead in the face. Dead in the face. So now we are... We're at a point where we have, well, this is the next target. Now, I have, I have scheduled a sweet affair with <coughs> Kamuldian, but I will, I'm going to save it here because I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, <coughs> let's go with, uh, I'm going to say Britain soft. And I know what that means because I was I was taking out the soft targets first <clears throat> so I can concentrate on the on the more difficult targets based upon my scouting. So what I'm going to be doing here is <clears throat> I'm going to do the scouting part of what I do, which I don't normally record, but I got it. I got it nice saved. So I am automatically, no matter what, I'm going to re. Oh, wait, I don't want to use use. I want to use. Okay, so first I'm going to try the Navy Let's approach, and I want to see what that looks like. <clears throat> and I'm not doing it to play. Actually, never mind. Hold on. I got to have this up. I forgot. I have to have this set up like I want it. Why don't I do that first? So I'm going to bring down. Uh, this is where I need uh, I need my troopers. I need Cremonides. Cremonides. You have another task that you need to fulfill. And we're going to start, I think, I, I, I just want to check here because I actually have, uh, what I do is I schedule these things. I, I scout things out, you know, because it's like, yeah, it's like scouting out a movie set, a, a movie site, whatever, a shooting site, whatever, whatever you call me. So we got, yeah, we got Kamulden that we're looking at. That's our next move. I want to make sure that's it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let me get Kermonides down here. He's going to lead this. And I think what I'm going to have is for his reserve. And I'm not, I could overwhelm, but I don't want to overwhelm because I want to have fun and I want you guys to have fun. So I'm, these are the guys, my field reserves are going to be these guys. These are the guys that I'm going to call in that are going to be, uh, once the holes are breached, that's what we'll be dealing with. So I've got. I've got an issue with Cremonides, though. I think I'm going to double check him, but I believe that we have to replace. I think I'd rather have the citizens' cavalry in re in reserve than than. <coughs> okay, so we have the mercenary citizen cavalry, and I don't want that. I want I want the Germanic scouts, and I only have one, and I'd rather have. Okay, you're going to get, you're going to lose your Germanic Scouts. There you go. So we're going to get the Citizens Cavalry over. And <laughs> now we've got the Mercenary Germanic Scouts, Riders, 
now they're over here. These are just, I can't wait to try these out and see how well they work. And I just wonder, these guys, their missile damage is 40. Their range is 125. Their missile damage is 32. So it, it is pretty, a little, you know, almost a quarter less in the range. So I think it's worthwhile having these guys to do. Actually, let me just make sure, because cause that first wave... I really want to make sure that first wave is is on point. So, for the SG ones, we have. I think I need another archer, horse archer, and do I have another archer down here? No, I don't. So, okay, I do need another horse archer, and I'm gonna remove one of these guys to get a horse archer. Yeah, I think I feel better with that. Okay, so then I got, <coughs> I've got my four horse archers because I can ride those up into twos and those are sizable. And these guys I can buy up into twos. And these guys are, I really uh, screwed the pooch here. We're sure. Okay, so actually, let me let me bring up another forces here. Where do I got some other forces? Uh, oh, I got some here. Don't worry, I got some. We hunger for battle. Let's bring you down. Let's bring you down and let's. Uh, Let's merge with commodities. Make haste, men. We're maximizing you, commodities. Or, or, or if, if, you, if you'd like to, to role play with me, this is commodities. He's putting in the orders and he's saying this is what he wants. This is what he's setting up. He's got just four sets of hoplites. He's got four heavy onagers, and I think he's going to. I think he's going to go with five, because he it's an experiment. And I think we need one more archer. And that means... Hmm. All right, one less trooper, yeah. There we go. So, now, now we have ourselves a unit that is... I mean, oh man, I took away from Alexandros to add to Cremonides. Man, I don't know, man. I don't know if Alexander's going to like me after that. I'm I, I'm sorry. This is for the good of the team, but trying to maximize this effort. I want to make sure this ship is up here. Okay, so now what I'm going to be doing is now I'm going to save it to what I had saved it before, Britain Salt. And now, actually, I'm going to save this to pre, pre, what the name, what, what is the name of this thing that we're working on here? Oh, what is the name of this place? It's right in front of me, isn't it? Pre, I'll just say pre, pre cam, pre cam. There you go. Precam. I accept. Precam has been accepted. So now what I can do is first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through in the Navy way with just this as my Navy. And I want to see what this looks like and if which troopers come in and well, just this is like scouting. So let's see. See what happens. And. What I'm going to do is, when it gets to the battle part, I'm just going to hit... I'm not trying to set anything up at all right now. So, that's out of the question. We're just looking to see, where do the reserves pop up? I want to know ahead of time where the reserves pop up. So that I can plan accordingly. Okay, so we're going to start deployment and start battle so i would look um I'll, I'll just wait here so this is this is where it's oh, so here, here's the interesting thing so when i do oh here's the land or here's the sea stuff Our reinforcements have arrived and this is their extent of their sea stuff so i could go up here and i could do some devastations i do have I do have some troopers that I can land, and I have some artilleries and ballistas and 
uh, archer. These archers will probably do a lot to. So so let's see where does our do our troopers come in? Our troopers come in here, and which group is coming in? That's is what I want to know. Is it the group that I tailor? No, it's not. It's this is Alexandros, isn't it? Is this Alexandros? No, no, this is Cremonides. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Excellent. So, so I can look and I can see. Okay, I know my guys are going to be coming in here, but listen. I don't really like if I look at this and I see from. A feel me I don't really think that the coming in with the Navy is gonna offer much of a chance so I'm gonna or much visuals so and I don't I, it would take me forever to get my guys up and I would much rather so I'm gonna I'm gonna go and get it back to now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look and I'm gonna do the land assault and I'm gonna see where the reserves come in there and then after I look and I see where the reserves come in there, I'm going to do a little scouting around and I'm going to talk about what I do. Is this, would, this part of what I'm doing here, this would normally be the stuff that I do on the Patreon videos. I'm eventually, I am making, I guess, uh, videos which will be like what the Patreon videos will be. They're, they're just going to be free. But this is the kind of content that I would create. For the Patreon, it's going to be $2 a month Patreon that I'm going to create. But I haven't gotten down to that yet. I'm working on it. Working on it. Okay, so. What do I got going here? We've got the field guys and the SG-1 commodities. Okay, so now we're going to try to get these field guys up as close as possible. As uh, So this is... No, that's Alexandros is my reserve, and there is uh, Dexterity. I don't really care about you. Cremonides. All right, I'm going to put Cremonides right beside you, and then Cremonides. Now, I'm going to save this again, and I'm saving it at the pre-cam again. So this time, because I'm setting it up now for uh, land assault. So I think it's going to be much more interesting probably as a land assault being able to, to set up my guy. Being able to set up this artillery strategy thing where the what we do is what we do is we we choke our opponent and we, we, we force our opponent to have to come out in desperation when and then we just sweep through them with our cavalry. And now I have an upgrade of cavalry, I believe. So this cavalry should be able to... I should be able to switch back and forth with the, the melees and uh, shooting. I'm learning how to do that stuff better. But All right. So let's just start deployment and start battle. So I start battle and I'm looking to see... Do our Navy guys come in? Is it our? I hope that it's more land reserves that we get and not land navy. Oh, good, our it is. Have oh well, wait a second. I don't get it. Okay, so this is uh, this is Alexandros. Oh my. Dang, what the heck, Alexandros, dude. I'm just gonna say, Alexandros, Cremonides, where's all your guys? Where are all your guys? All right. You should have five guys. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I see then how, where are the reserves coming again? So the reserves come way over here. So I tell you what, now that I know that the reserves come way over here, we're here, they're there. Yeah. So, 
with that information in mind, that tells me that my reserves I want to bat up here are, are not these guys. Don't want Coming these guys. The That's just silly. Wait. Okay. So there you go. Oh, wait. I didn't do this part. So then the next thing I would look for, and I'm just going to let this thing, whatever it's doing, I don't care. This isn't the real battle, so I'm looking at the walls. I'm looking at the, uh, I don't really see, there's not going to be any sea kind of things going on. Where's our little ca ca capture points? It's pretty massive. I think this is where ultimately the biggest, the, the biggest one is. So, so with that in mind, I'm looking for some open space where they can come out and get me, but I can still... I want to still hit their walls. So far, this looks like a good space. And this might look like a good space as well. Because yeah, I don't even care about gates anymore. All I care about is knocking down walls. Gates are just stupid. I don't even care. I definitely am not going to deal with... This is the worst place to be. So, I don't want to even be in over here at all. So, that's boring. So I'm thinking probably I think this area has the biggest open space. Yeah. Well, actually, oh my, I don't know if I can go down here or not, but if I can, I think right here is where I want to be. This is it. Right here is where I want to be, and what I uh, yeah, yeah. I, I and it's it's further away from here. It's it makes it more hard slogging on the inside. But if I can set up here, my idea it will be, I could set my heavy. Uh, I hope I could set up here. I could set my heavy onagers here. I'm gonna stretch them puppies out, and I got my I got some awesome forces here to protect this zone. Right in front right in front i got little little guys i can put up here and then little guys up here and i don't think i'll get any threats from up there anyway i can easily protect my artillery any and my archers can come up and remember i am in god mode so i don't have to worry about losing my archers when i go up but and then i can just i could just use that artillery to just slog 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 away and i'm hoping with this next battle that I'll be able to manage my heavy onagers a lot better than I have in the past. So I think hopefully I'll be able to move them up in a more systematic, uh, patient way. Like maybe where I'll have half of them still firing while the other half move. I got thoughts in mind about how to make it more efficient and move them up. Because I can move them inside once I break these walls and they can keep just... They, they do damage. When you get clusters of troopers, they do great damage. So I think with that, we're going to concede defeat again. But we're not really. And then we're going to move it back and we're going to save it where it was. And that means that we will get set up for our next video. And uh, I do want to let you know that I will be creating a special Patreon video for the last battle in this series that that'll be coming up i'm i don't want to say for sure i i have it planned out but i can't say for sure exactly how it's going to go but i think we're going to end at iscus so it'll probably be the battle of iscus and you get to see increase in rank I, that's that's just don't worry about it don't worry about it we're just going to load precam and there we go. So, I want to thank you for joining us here on Frico Plays Rome Total War 2 in God Mode, the Athens 2 edition. Join us in the next episode when we engage in our first major battle of Britain, the Battle of Chem Ulodinum. And, and you know because we've been getting ready for it. And don't forget to click on our Patreon in the link below. Well, it's not there yet, but it will be 
maybe by the time you notice and see this video, it'll be there by then. Uh, where you could get access to exclusive behind-the-scenes footage of Frico recording God Mode play in all his series now and all the series to come.